Welcome back to another art lesson with Miss Revels. We are going to be practicing drawing some lines today to help us get a little bit better control um, of our hands and our grips and drawing our lines. So you're just going to start off with a piece of paper and any type of writing utensil. If you have markers, that's great. Um, you can use a crayon, a colored pencil, or a regular pencil. Um, the first line we're going to draw are straight lines. We all know what a straight line looks like. We're going to call them standing lines. And we're going to practice drawing a standing line from the top of our page all the way to the bottom of the sheet of paper. And we're going to try to draw our lines as straight as possible. Now Miss Rebels is using a tripod here so my hand is under the tripod. It kind of limits how my hand can move but you get the idea. So you're going to start at the top of your page and you're going to bring your line straight down to the bottom. Try to make your line as straight as possible. You're going to repeat this all the way across your page, moving over a little bit and moving straight down. If you keep your hand on the paper and just move your arm down and not move your wrist like this, you can get a really good straight line. This is good practice for us to learn how to control our writing utensils, to learn how to have better grips and draw better lines. Alright, now that I'm halfway across my page, now I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to start at the bottom and move my way up. I'm going to pick a new color. Anytime I change direction or start a new type of line, I'm going to change color just so we all can kind of see um, what that looks like. For Miss Revels, bottom to top is a lot harder to draw straight lines than top to bottom, so it's really good to practice. And again, there goes my tripod. Eek. It's really good to practice these things so that you can have good control. The next lines we're going to work on drawing are going to be horizontal lines. Horizontal lines are lines that go side to side. We just drew vertical lines or standing lines. We're going to call our horizontal lines sleeping lines. So start from the left and work to the right about halfway through the page and we're going to switch and go um, the opposite right to left. Try to make your lines as straight as possible. Don't lift your hand from the paper. If you leave your hand on the paper and just drag your arm, you can make straighter lines. Now we're going, oops, forgot to change colors. Alright, the next lines we're going to do are diagonal lines. Diagonal lines start and kind of cut the paper off in like a triangle as you work your way over. We're going to start working from the, side, the left side to the bottom right, this way down, and when we get halfway through we're going to work up. Again, this is all practice to help us gain better control over how we hold our crayons, our colored pencils, our markers. 
and is going to make our artwork better in the future. guys we're gonna practice drawing some wavy lines now we're gonna make horizontal wave or excuse me we're gonna make diagonal wavy lines but we're gonna go this way wavy lines look kind of like a wave at the beach we're gonna start at the bottom and make our wavy lines Now we're going to switch, go the opposite direction, start at the top, The next line we're going to do is a zigzag line. We're going to do our zigzags. Um, let's do those vertically. So remember, vertical is top to bottom, up and down. So we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. then we can switch and work from top to bottom. All right, that looks really crazy, all those different colors, all those different kinds of lines. I hope you guys practiced and got some good line drawings in. You can always flip your paper over and keep working, making new lines over here. Um, some more examples of lines that you can draw and use in your artwork could be dashed lines. You could use dotted lines. You could make lines out of squares. You could make really tight wavy lines. That means the waves are really close together. Big wavy lines. You could make lines out of diagonal lines. You could make crisscross lines. You could make really thin 
parallel lines. Or you could make thick parallel lines. I hope you guys keep practicing how to draw lines. When we come back to school next year, we're going to be using all these different kinds of line varieties to make some really cool artwork. It's really important for us to practice how to draw our lines and how to hold our pencils and our pens so that when we come back, we have really good control. Just like you practice reading or math or spelling, it's important to practice these skills in art. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.